Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Sorry about my face, it's a bit oily and whatever um, the minor. Um, but today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing like a Ferret Shared Remake Model, Remodel, Revamp, I don't know what to call it. But basically I'm just going to give it a big clean out, redecorate it, I'm going to try and do the outside too. Um, just there. I'm going to try to clean it out and you know sort some nice toys and things out for her uh, i do want to try and give her like a more interesting cage set up but the problem is i don't think she actually really uses anything that i put in her cage we will just add some things anyway because i did actually clean my ferret shed out the other day there'll be a video on my channel about that probably already and that's what it's currently looking like so i literally can't even like move to sort anything out but i'm gonna try and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm just going to do the time lapse, update you as I go along, things like that. So, yeah, let's get started. Also, guys, please ignore my outfit because you'll be seeing that. And also, there's so many spices in here. I'm absolutely terrified. Please try and ignore the music, but I thought I should do like a before I start um, a review. So, this is just what it looks like. It's just a bit messy. And now looks like as you can see it's a tip um this gets like this quite a lot it used to be a lot worse when i was using shaving to the letteries though so now i'm just going to sweep this out smokey's in the carriage she's been very good i think she's just asleep um i haven't heard the scratching to come out or anything which is really good the comparison of the bit that's been swept like compared to the bit that hasn't so as you can see it's a lot cleaner but yeah i'm too tired of that breath um but that's obviously been swept this bit's all not being swept yet so you can see the real difference it makes Out of breath, so sorry about that. Smokey's still asleep, she hasn't not woken up once, which is great. I've got my bin bag, oh, not bin bag, but my bag, bin, whatever it's called, filled now. I should just sew that because I'd like to fold it past the carpet and just have that as a good sweep. Uh, and so the cage is now looking like so. so. Now I need to decorate the cage, but before I just start throwing things in, I think I'm going to try and plan it out a bit better than what I usually do. So, okay, yeah, so I've just gone and got some scissors now. And I'm going to turn this piece of cardboard into like a placemat, um, like there's like cat and dog ones you get, but this is going to be cardboard because I don't have a plastic one. Okay guys, so I'm going to be making like a box tower thing, I don't really know yet. Um, I have an idea in mind, but I can't really describe it and I'm not going to try. But I've got some boxes here. And um, basically what I want to do is cover them with wrapping paper to make them look nicer and so that they all match. The only problem is we don't have any... We don't have any, Chris, uh, any paper that's not Christmas. So I just chose these random two. Okay guys, so this is hopefully what's going to happen. The bottom one's going to have a door put in. I haven't done that yet though. And then it's going to lead up to this next one. And then this last box is going to have a cut out here somewhere and then it's going to go like this and have a little look out on the top and then it's going to be wrapped up nicely and yeah. In case anyone was thinking about wrapping boxes in paper, I'm going to give you one piece of advice, don't. By now all the boxes are cut, Smokey's still asleep in the carrier, I've been to check on her a few times. I've just finished dropping the first box, it looks absolutely awful then. I mean... That was like the easiest one because it has no cutouts or anything. This one's going to be. Ugh. But yeah, and it's so windy, like everything keeps blowing away, and I'm actually like done with life, so I'm going to move this aside and do it. Guys, I've just finished the second box. I can't believe I've literally been doing this all afternoon. What am I doing with my life? Someone send help. This literally took me 40 minutes to do. 
and I've got one more yet. Um, but yeah, it absolutely looks awful as well. But like, hopefully it's good when it's put together. Oh my god, guys! So <laughs> I only have one more side of that box left to do. Um, but I'm just sat in my bed now because water. I was drinking water, so that technically means I shouldn't have been in bed still. Don't understand where my logic was in that, but I mean, excuses, look out for me. Um, but yeah, I just literally had a heart attack because basically, when I was out, I'm gonna save you guys a minute of your life. Also, my lip is there, it's just covered in whatever. But pretty much, I left open the outside door to the like enclosure thingy that she has in the wall. Um, I forgot to close it and she was in the cage free roaming and I forgot to show it so I had a heart attack pretty much but she had not yeah, escaped. I just finished the boxes, I'm so so happy. Um, hopefully she likes it and hopefully she didn't ruin it, I don't think she's going to like it but whatever we'll just do it. It's a bit sunny so sorry about the squinting but I've just finished the box. I did it wrong and now it's like a different design and now I just realised I've done it that it's not going to work. I'm going to show you though. So this is what it turns out looking like. This one was supposed to fit straight on top but then the holes for this one ended up being wrong. I think I've uh, stuck it on the wrong way round or something. So whichever way I put this top box, the hole never met up unless it was half on and half off. So, but then I thought, it would, no, that'd be fine because then she can come up here and stand on top of this bit and just jump off if she wants. Or she can go into this top bit and look out. But then I realised that it's like this bit, this box is really steady, so it's not going to break off or anything. But then I realised that if she stood in that bit, then it's going to fall over. So I'm going to have to put this bit against the wall, which will be fun to try and figure out. I'm going to show you it as I let smoke it out of the carrier which has been in the night all day. I think it looks quite good. She looks like she's enjoying it so far anyway. So we've got the litter tray, a cardboard mat which has got the food and water and then a brick to hold it in place even though she's probably not over anyway. Then we've got the little castle thingy just leaning against this wall. Down here we've got a log which is just filling the empty space and you can stand in it, claw it, whatever. And this box here is the same as it was before, just with her blankets and things in it. She's bored of the cage already. Love that. Yeah, you got some good castle. Sweetheart, look, go in there. I'm pretty sure this can fit in those holes. You probably think it's very small, but um, I have. Yep, she can fit in that one. I've uh, got the sleeping box here, and the log. In the middle, we've got that big hollow log. It's got a passageway going all the way through the middle. I don't know if you can really see, but it does go up to that top bit there, or at the bottom as well. She literally wants to come out the cage, guys. I just made this cage for you to explore and it literally looks like for two minutes. Here we've got this old box of drawers, I guess. Um, I was going to throw these out because I don't want them anymore, but then I thought that Smokey might like them because, oh my god, that was just a. Yeah. It's just got two of the drawers hanging out and then there's two holly bits which she can like, climb into if she wants. Don't know if it's going to be any use to her, um, but whatever. Thought it would be better, better than throwing it away. And in the back corner there's a letter tray, that ramp there goes up to the top bit, I'll show you that in a minute. Then over there is a old dog bed which is filled with sand, bits of cloth, bits of litter by the looks of it. I don't know how that goes in there. Even got in there, sorry. But then in this wa old wardrobe, uh, in the bottom level is a box with a hammock in it. Um, I think you saw that earlier so I'm not going to dive in and show you. But then in the top there is a box from up here. 
And then next to it is here, all the little box and that lid flaps up and down. Um, so it's usually just shut and then she just opens it and stuff, which is really cute. And that's just filled with newspaper, or it was until she's emptied it out. Uh, and then obviously in that hole there, there's a pipe and up the pipe goes through the wall. Outside, which you know you escaped from. Yeah, that's Smokey's new cage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I really enjoyed making it to be honest. It was very long. Oh, she's so cute. But yeah, so this is the overview of the cage. I just showed you it there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know and leave a thumbs up as that really helped me out. And also, I think I'm gonna be doing a hedgehog one of these, changing his cage because his cage is very basic and boring. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as I already mentioned, and yeah, I'll see you in my next one hopefully. Say bye! Oh, I think she does like it more than I thought she did.